Hey, what's up, guys? It's uh, Clint Triplo, and um, yeah, so here it is, part three, of Star Trek: The Next Generation, the birth of the Federation. So last time, as you remember, uh, I was playing. Uh, let's see, what was it? The Kim Kardashians, and uh, <laughs> uh, right. So I was terraforming this planet so I could get the population to 400, but right now it's at 212. But it's slowly over time, it's going to increase, and then I'll get more people working the farms because apparently someone has failed to do so but you know that's okay because you know I'm not worried you know it's fine you know I mean, I mean I'm not crying you know too much but I suppose I should have a little intelligence a little retardation um, yeah so we're getting all this crap ready to go um, yeah, you always want to have research rocking and rolling in every system, because if you don't, you will slowly die as an empire, and you will slowly suck it to the very end. So, you don't want to do that. Uh, no reports, military's fine, science is 100%, economics 100%, minor races, nothing, systems held, I'm appropriately at maximum, and morale for my entire civilization is content. They're not super happy, and they're not super mad. So I think um, I think I'm doing all right. Um, I probably should build a frack ton more colony ships, but I haven't done it yet. But that will be soon on the list. I'll probably build like ten of them because if we look at this large ass map, oh god, I'm in the middle. This is terrible. This is terrible news. Oh no. Well, well, hold on. Before I shit my jimmies. Just come to realize there are one, two, three, four, five places I have in my grasp, basically. With the exception that one of the two of these is obviously going to have like a little minor race that I'll have to either destroy or claim as an ally for the next 50 turns. But, um, you know, that's soon to happen anyway. But uh, anyway, the scout's going to go there next turn. This guy's going to do that, and we're going to end turn. Nope. Cool. Ooh, so this is going to be a pretty popular place. Um, so this guy's got a shit ton of food. Yep, 20% food and 50% plus energy. So that's going to be really, really handy. All right, so let's count up the population. So we got, uh, what? 120, uh, 180, uh, 200 and, what, 15 or 10, somewhere in there? And then, so what about 240? 235 this this place so this this place right here ain't bad um, so I've got a really good start um, I don't know why the frack this thing isn't moving oh god I took off the see that's what happens sometimes Ugh, that's annoying gotta turn on the damn shipyard yeah, see, now I can start moving it. Wait, what? What? Why is he trapped there? What is this garbage? What is this nonsense? This is ridiculous. Why is he being held there? There is no tractor beams out here. What the... Whatever. That's stupid and retarded and gay all at the same time. But whatever, you know, that's, that's, that's cool. You know, whatever, be homo. You know, I never expected you to do anything in your life anyway. Stupid ass shit. Okay, so, uh, yeah, 2%, 3%, yeah, energy, yep, okay. We're, we're doing good here, folks. Um, yeah, discover nothing, have nothing, bend nothing, great. Um, right. Okay, we're gonna buy Purchase that too. confirmed. Bam! Terraforming. Completed. Yeah, terraforming. So now I got 400, which is excellent because that's what I need for life and everything else. So yeah, we're we're gonna wait. Why can't I? Oh, you. Okay, so 95 versus. Okay, we're definitely gonna go here. So we want to do that. I don't know why I was being retarded last turn. I think you have to have your shipyard open in order to like. I don't know. It's, it's stupid, it's whatever. But anyway, so... Purchase confirmed. So that was cool. Um, purchased another thingy. 
Bam! Yeah. This, oh, Jesus. I don't know what this is. Oh, no. It's a super powerful ship. An alien entity. I don't know what it is, but it sounds stupidly gay. Possibly homo. So I'm going to have to avoid that at all costs. Paranthius is another good galaxy. Unfortunately, I won't be able to discover what the hell that is until future knowledge. So, I am not going to worry about it. Select a planet to terraform. Um, a good strategy here, folks. Something you should probably know in the near future. Uh, your best chance to win. Well, it's one of two ways. I personally like to terraform the shit out of these until they're all green and then and then colonize, but I'm starting to get the idea that maybe you've got to colonize that shit, build another thingy, and then slowly terraform the planets and then move on to the next planet. Just make sure to have two in each company. That way one can colonize the first one that they get, get inside it, and then have another one slowly rebuilding it, because the faster you can get a place, the better. Um, that's just a little strategy I've kind of come up with. I think that would probably work best for what I'm doing. Um, I think it would be definitely more of the wiser. Uh, I'm not going to say anything different, other than, like, yeah. Alright, so we're back in this place. Purchase confirmed. Yeah, purchased. Confirmed. Money making time. Um. Yeah. Um. Yeah. More power to science. All right, four, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Yeah, that should do it. As long as I have 14 research at any one time. Oh, uh, yeah, I should probably get more assembly yards, too. Okay, how many are here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Right. 10. Okay, that should do 15. So I think, I think this is a really good setup. Once I get those up and running, I won't need any more hypnotic farms, or hydroponic farms, hydroponic farms, and yeah, fusion.